Hello, <laughs> welcome. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You are so welcome uh, to come and join me. Um, forgive me for laughing <laughs> as I started speaking because I've um, been waffling on for a couple of minutes and I hadn't even pressed record. So I do apologise. I wasn't laughing at you, um, just myself and the uh, state I find myself in <laughs> today. I think I've reached that crazy uh, pitch where <laughs> Uh, gift knitting has, um, or gift, gift um, making has got the better of me. So much so that I was out of bed at four eighteen this morning. I don't know how long I was tossing and turning before that, but I just had to get up in the end. I thought, yeah, it's no point if you just, if I disturb my husband, that'd be it. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just come downstairs and get ahead of myself. And yeah, I'm ahead of myself in the sense of further on than what I was yesterday. Um, so I'm working on this this project and yeah I'm a lot further on and I'm a lot clearer in my mind but it's just the case is it just takes time um, to do everything I finished uh, a couple of projects that I wanted to do um, so that's good <laughs> um, I've also finished something for myself I had started the other day and that is um, my project bag I haven't ironed it so it's still in the, uh, you know, well, crinkle, the <laughs> crinkle stages. So if I just, uh, yeah, show you. So I've got a project bag. So this needs um, iron, ironing. Yeah. Um, so I've got a zip in it. It's got a zip in. And I've got my lovely lining that I was making the other day. So that's really nice, isn't it? Uh, that... Show you. so you can see you know I was um, cutting all my material up and then sewing it back together. Oh, I've got the odd thread on it. So yeah, I'm really pleased um, with that. So I've cut out a little um, notions pouch. So I'm going to do that, and I think that'll last me um, through through the winter months. So, not that I knew that you um, had seasons, but um, Sharon from SCR1, TNO, <laughs> um, she changes her project bag seasonally and she she swaps her Christmas ones over on um, Remembrance Sunday, which has, I think that's quite a good marker, actually. Um, I need to remember to try and, um, try and do that. So, yeah, so I've got that, so I'm pleased with that. Um, and as I say, I've just cut out the... Little notions pouch. Oh, it's felt that's why. I thought that straight felt um, a bit different. It's felt rather than um, the wadding that I use. So, yeah, I'm just going to cut that in half. So I haven't got as far as I thought. <laughs> so that's just going to be um, a little notions pouch. I think I just pulled that out because I was going to start to. Um, you know, perhaps put it on the on the top of this, but I'm not. Um, I'm gonna. It's got another piece of material, and I was just going to put this on. You know, the top for the for the drawstring. I'm not gonna make it into a little drawstring. You can see, look, it's really pretty, and it didn't work cutting it vertically. I suppose it could have done really, but um, I just yeah, I thought I'd rather have that as a little notions pouch. In my um, in my bag. Um, so yes, and I've got yeah these two bits of material which I'll probably cut down and make um, you know, like a little lavender sachet. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? So do something like that. So that's that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Got my hair down today. I was <laughs> editing last night and uh, realised how much I'd have my hair up the last few days. So yeah, yeah, not a good look. <laughs> I tend to just scrunch it up. I'm going to get my hair done next week, so I'll be a bit more presentable. And then I've got just... I have a bag of um, bits and pieces. You know, if you get something that arrives or you buy something like a pair of pyjamas or something, they tend to be tied like with a ribbon. I'll just keep it and then see if I can use it, which I think that's what I'm going to do for um, my Notions pouch. I did notice there's a mark. I think it must be where... You know when they put the, use a plastic gun or something? There, it's right in the middle as well. Look, 
but hopefully that'll be inside the bag so it won't see. I'm trying to do as much uh, you know, recycling as I possibly can. Right, so I'm just going to yeah, sit down, have a cup of tea, gather myself. Um, I think I've got to get the wrapping on. I think that's also causing me a bit of stress. Um, I've done one lot, so I've got to uh, start. So I've done Fred's, all Fred's is wrapped up and he's stocking. So I'll do, if I can do Alfie's today, that'll be good. So that'll be two, two of them down. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd come on and uh, over my events um, with you. So on the fourth day, so this is from um, Telling Yarns, and she's on uh, Yorkshire Yarn Fest, um, but you won't see this because it's Wednesday. Oh, no, you might do it. Yes, you will. So I'm going to film Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. So it's Yorkshire Yarn Fest on Saturday. So, um, yeah, go and have a look. There's some uh, new dyes. New di I could be making that up, actually. <laughs> Well, it might be new dyes to yourself. Uh, Mr. B's yarn is there. Um, I've got a token discount code in my advent, so um, I might do that. My husband said he's going to treat me um, to some yarn because I'm not supposed to, Well, well, I can't buy any, but I said I wasn't going to. Um, so he said to me, you yeah, know, I'll just have what you want. And um, I said, oh. I always find that difficult when he says that. I'd rather just know an amount. Not that I would go crazy. Well, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would. um, so, yeah, so I, I don't know whether to make up my mind what I want or just to buy something. I quite like to make some hats next year, um, like, you know, or say after Christmas. Right, let's open this rather than me being waffling, waffling on. I can feel I'm getting, t I'm getting tired now. Right, sorry if there's too much crinkling as well. Um, I missed the stitch markers in these the other day. Crunchy. Oh, right, okay. Oh, how I made my... <laughs> I've got a pair of, um, well, Harry Potter, can you see that? Yeah. Harry Potter glasses. Little progress keeper, that's lovely. And this is made by, I've not heard, right, it's handmade by Kelly, is it Waddle? And it's Crunchy Nut um, Crochet. Oh, that's lovely. And that's my fourth day. So this is a 20 gram, 20 gram skein. So it's... Um, 80 metres, 87, 87 yards. So look at that. Isn't that lovely? I was so excited to be able to um, start this. So that's two nice projects I'm going to have um, in, in the new year. So I haven't, and I haven't um, done anything. No update on the socks. They're still the same. So and this is um, from Siobhan Cross. Another, oh wow, that's another stitch marker. Oh, I think I've been sitting funny at the same machine, my back's going <laughs> down that side. Look at that, isn't that lovely? One of those gems. <laughs> so if I can, I put that in there. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? And we have Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye. Look like my Bronte's eyes. Yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> so that's that. And then we have the lovely um, Ellie from Craft House Magic. Ooh. And put some more um, labels on these to keep this in the order. Oh, that's nice. That's a really nice colour. It's probably a little bit darker than what it's showing in the light. So, yes, lovely. My video went up this morning for uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and I announced um, a giveaway that I wanted to do. I did announce it in October um, when I just started. I started my blogs, vlogs in um, August, the end of August, and I wanted to do a giveaway. 
I say technology and me, we uh, don't really go hand in hand. I'm a lot better than what than what I was. Wow, I can actually say that now. I can actually say that. Um, I believe I believe in myself that I can that I can say that. Um, but I think episode three was probably the worst for technology for the light and sound, and the music was over what I was um, what I was trying to say. As I'm not very good at putting loads of stuff on Instagram, I don't know how to do stories yet. So I need that's something I need to do for the new year. But so I would like to give away one of these bags. Well, these are my rainbow bags. You can see the fabric, and it's beautiful. It really, is lovely. So it's a rainbow drawstring, and it's like a linen denim at the bottom. And in this bag, you have um, a, gener a generous size pocket in there it's got lovely um, blue polka dot um, lining there's also a d-ring so you could perhaps put your um, scissors um, stitch markers on there so you don't lose them I prefer mine on the inside because I just feel like I would lose them on the outside I'm always <laughs> losing things um, you've got a notions pouch you've got that that's fully lined as well um, so you can keep you know everything in there, your stitch markers, um, your pins, um, a pair of scissors. Um, what else? What else do we need? A crochet hook. Put a crochet hook in there, and this is the um, DPN case that comes with that. So even if you, yeah. So that's fully lined as well. It's a directional fabric, so it goes over and over so on the back it will be upside upside down like if you turned it around that way but it's supposed to be because it's directional um so you can so you can have it either in the blue so you can choose as a choice so you can choose the blue which is that one or the pink um and what i'd like you to do is i didn't realize you what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I would like you to tag me to two friends. Now, when I mentioned this yesterday, in my last podcast that's gone up, I didn't realise you can't tag on YouTube. So I'm going to put a post on Instagram. So it's, a, it's subscribe, tag me to two friends. And what's, what's the third thing? Oh, give me a like, please. Give me a, give me a thumb a thumbs up. Um, I'm aiming to draw this on the 28th of December. Um, I know the bags, even if I post them now, the likelihood is they're not going to get to you. And this is open worldwide. Um, I'll, po I'll post this out anywhere. I will um, work out how to um, to do this. If you have already subscribed, just message me and I'll put your name on the list. That isn't a problem. So that would uh, that would be nice to be able to um, you know, give that gift. And I just want to make sure as many people as possible um, get to know about it and have a chance to enter. Right, I'm going to just pop off now. I need to go and get my book for um, my daily gratitude that I want to share with you. Okay. Right, okay, so my daily gratitude today um, is being grateful for the angels in, in your life. Um, angels are there, whether it's sort of whether you believe spiritually or, you know, perhaps like sort of virtually somebody you know is always there to listen to you it's always kind always says always says the right things it's always so generous and loving and giving um and i'm grateful for my angel that's in my life and this person only came into my life recently i think it was september um I mentioned on my first podcast that because of the situation, I didn't belong to a knit group. Um, and I say technology, me, we don't we don't get on. But this lady had seen my podcast and she mentioned it to her friend. 
So I'm very grateful for those two ladies that have invited me to co um, to join a Zoom group. And all the ladies that belong in that group are my angels. Um, Everybody sort of keeps an eye on everybody. They always have a kind of word. They will always help each other. And because of what we're going through at the moment, um, all of us, it's something that has really been a lifeline. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that today. I think I'm also, um, I think I'm a little bit anxious as time is getting on. I mentioned to you I'm going to see my mum and I haven't seen her physically since August or September um, just because of the tears that we've been in we weren't allowed to travel I did offer to like go over I could drop things off for her um, but she was like no no she said I can't um, you know I don't think I'll be able to cope with seeing you and not being able to give you a hug and I was like oh okay and I think if I'm honest I was a little bit hmm <laughs> But she was right. She was right. So I think this is what is sort of starting to build. I was hoping to see her Friday. I'm not going to see her now till Sunday because I haven't finished what I wanted to gift her. Um, so that's at the back of my mind. I think that was why I was up as early as I was. Um, we all have these, don't we? Um, I'm hoping to come on once more and um, yeah, share something else with you. But if I don't share anything else with you tonight... Um, I'd just like to say that I hope that you are well, I hope that you are safe and I hope that you have an angel. I hope that you have somebody there um, or that you can reach out and you have that person and you can you can talk to them. So keep safe, keep safe. Hopefully I will see you later, but if not, um, forgive me and I will come on tomorrow and um, I'll hopefully be a bit more organised, get a bit more sleep. <laughs> OK, speak to you later. Bye. Thursday the 6th, 17th, is it the 17th of December, so good morning, good morning, oh, I feel so much better <laughs> this morning, oh, I hope I don't look as tired as I did um, yesterday, so I feel a lot brighter, um, yeah, funny day today, uh, my little one is coming so I'm looking after him today, so that's my major plans today um you know, I've just uh, tidied around hoovered around um not that you needed to know that I think I could be on a cold I don't know where I picked that up from I think uh, Benjamin oh excuse me that's like really bad um so yeah so not terribly exciting for uh you guys um but yeah thank you thank you for watching me thank you for choosing to watch me and thank you for um, your lovely comments. So, yeah, it might be a short one today and then tomorrow. Um, yeah, just want to stop and. Thursdays are really, really important to me. Um, it's still been important even if I've got COVID, but they're especially important. I'm especially grateful for this. I do wake up a bit giddy. <laughs> well, uh, on a Thursday, um, and I'm due to pop over and see the boys on Saturday. Um, I've got the last of their advent boxes, so they've got a gingerbread house. My husband's bought one. I was hoping that we would make one, but um, yeah, he's bought one, and we've got all the other bits for them. So, which the boxes have gone down the storm, evidently. So that's good. That's what it's all about: um, boys and their enjoyment. Right. I'm back again. Um, I've had an idea. Just watching lovely crafty click. Um, yeah, she was just starting to talk about her minis, um, like her ad that she's received through her advents and projects that um, she's thinking of. She hasn't got um, um, a firm, firm idea, 
and I wanted to show you a couple of my blankets and I didn't know whether that would give you an idea. I made this blanket um, not last year, I think I started it January 2019 and I finished it about April, May and it was to use up, I've got a, like a great big box of all my Starcraft yarn um, and it was, to, it was to use that, but obviously it didn't make that much of a dent. And it's called the Battenberg Blanket. It's a crochet uh, Battenberg Blanket by um, Sandra Paul, and it's a free free pattern on her website. So this is how, well, it's going to be bigger than what I can get it. And it's beautiful. Let me just put it on the kitchen top there with me. Right, so this is my um, Battenberg blanket. Oh, I've got thread hanging. Um, it's gone down there. Might be the boys playing on it. Um, yeah, my Battenberg blanket. And all it is is. Um, a flat, a flat granny square teamed up with, I've just teamed it with cream. So there's no um, pattern to this at all. I just sort of pulled them out of um, my baskets. Now, Sandra, Sandra Paul, she, I think if I'm right, she used um, a four ply, um, a four ply yarn. And I think it was a Debbie, Debbie Bliss. Um, and hers goes over a king size bed and she actually shows you how to do um, like a modular um, join so that you can perhaps do sec sections together and then you join them and you've got a, you've got a big piece. But you could easily, easily <coughs> make this blanket and use any yarn that you've got. I and mean, obviously you have to use the same weight of yarn, but you could do this in um, four ply fingering, um, DK, um, there's that sport, and I suppose you could even do it in an Aaron or a young, a, a chunky, as long as you have got enough. And I think I bought, so this is Starcraft Special. All of these are my odd bits. There's lots of fluorescent colours um, in here. And I made, uh, probably about two, two, three years ago, I made um, a hat and a scarf and a mitten set. And the, the, um, the mittens were unicorn mittens for, for my niece. So um, with Starcraft, you have to use a hundred. You have to buy hundred gram balls, and I hadn't got anything else that I wanted to use this project with, with these colours. And I thought, well, I'll just put them in here. I saw the blanket that um, you know Sandra was making, and I just fell in love with it. And I just adapted it, and it fits over um, a double bed, but under the pillow. So from under the pillows to the edge, like edge of the mattress. But you can make your blanket as small or as large as you wanted. Um, and I think I used, I think I used eight, and I broke into the ninth hundred gram ball of the cream. Um, so yeah, really, really good, good idea. So maybe that's one to um, keep in mind for your advent. Is that? Look at all these colours. Look at all these colours. Oh, you've got shoes. Hey. I'm a bit outside. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Rum, <laughs> Benjamin.
Hello. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, happy Thursday. <laughs> it's about 10 to 7 in the evening. Um, yes, I've had Benjamin today, so it's f full on. So he went home uh, oh, a couple of hours ago, a couple of hours ago. So we've had a dinner, um, had chilli at the freezer. So that was good. That was uh, nice and easy. I've opened my advents. Um, my daughter had half day today, so we um, went into town. That was something that I needed. I couldn't. I could have got it on um, Amazon, but it was something I needed to see. Um, so we went to um, a, ho a hobby craft. So we went in there, and unfortunately, I took my camera and I took my selfie stick, but I didn't feel very confident um, filming because there were quite a few people around. I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't crowded. It wasn't crowded, but I think when you stay in and <laughs> go out, it's totally different um, nowadays. So there won't be any footage from um, Hobbycraft, but I've got a couple of things. Um, you know, I bought myself a new, well, a cheap pair of chink, uh, start again, <laughs> put my teeth in. Um, a pair of pink and shears. I cannot for the life of me find it. And I guarantee now, now that I've bought um, yeah, a cheap pair, I'll find my good pair. Um, so yeah, that was my exciting purchase for myself. Got something for my husband and then a couple of other things. Um, so I thought I'd come on and show you <laughs> um, a gift I feel my husband's given, um, given me, bought me. Um, I don't think it's for Christmas. I think it's because he deleted um, all my footage, all my videos that were on my phone. Um, so I now have a... Um, a camera for my podcasting and for filming and I think they're called GoPros it isn't a GoPro it's a cheaper version but it kind of does the same thing and if I had known that I was gonna be using this I'd be quite excited when I first started my podcast I would have said no never but yeah let me show you I should have moved this well, just bear with me so um yes my presents so he's what me a box of accessories. I've got all sorts on there. I can um, strap, a chest strap. So I think that's when I'm on my bike and a head, stra <laughs> head strap. I don't know what he thinks I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, I've got this to go under the water. I can't swim. I'm going to be going under the water. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my new toy. So that'll be interesting <laughs> to see if I can get my head head round head round that. I've got brackets to go on my bike on my handlebar so um yeah something to stick on the window screen of the car or the or the dashboard um an instruction book so i have to um yeah to turn it on and off turn it on off record stop recharge recharge charge yeah charge <laughs> i think it's mean these recharging um oh, i was really tired um yesterday so i'm sorry if the footage you can see that in the footage, but um, it's real life. Um, and I think for most people, you kind of had, I think you have a dip before Christmas. I think it's just the enormity of everything that you want to make sure that you have got, have got everything. Um, and there is a lot of work um, in Christmas. Um, the, the wrapping is, bo is bothering me. Um, so I'll yeah, get some more of that done, to get that done tomorrow. Um, my mum's project is bothering me, but I can kind of see where I am now. I had a really good night's sleep last night, which was really good, really good. So I, I did feel, I don't feel as exhausted now as I normally do on a, on a Thursday. So I've caught up on my sleep. But that's just, I'm just rabbiting, aren't I? I'm just rabbiting. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go and tidy the other room up um, and then I'll sit down. And then I've got my Zoom meeting um, this evening um, with the lovely ladies that um, we meet on a Thursday. So that'll do me that'll do me the power of good, um, a good giggle, a good giggle. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow's Friday, so I'm in all day tomorrow. Um, in all day tomorrow, Saturday, I'm dropping the boys box over for a gingerbread house. And then Sunday, I'm going to my mum's and I'm dropping all her presents over um and i'm making a couple of presents for friends of hers that have yeah that have looked after her really looked after her um 
so I just want to yeah say my thank you so I wanted to make them something so that I it could just show how much I appreciate what they've done for my mum and my stepdad and I've bought them just little little things to um, go in but I'll share that with you after Christmas um, I can't think for one moment that they would be watching um, so yeah that's what I've been busy doing um, the last sort of couple of days um, oh and my socks let me just go get my socks right is that recording yes it's recording Right. Okay, so <laughs> my saga of my socks now that I've um, sorted myself out. Oops. Oops. Oh. Right. <laughs> Everything's falling. So I have done my um, heel and my flap. What's that called? Your flap? That's a little bit. goes around your heel, doesn't it? So yes, these are inside, you knit, knit them inside out, turn your sock and do it inside out. So yeah, so I did that last night. So I'm on the gusset next, get that done, and then I'm on the, on the leg. So hopefully, hopefully I can do the gusset when I'm on the Zoom call um, and I won't lose, <laughs> lose any stitches. And then uh, I'll be able to show you um, those tomorrow. Um, so I think that that's it for tonight. Um, my daughter says I should really come on in the evenings and just say goodnight to you. Um, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we will see. We will see. Um, just going to go and feed my cake. I'm hoping to marzipan it over the weekend. I've kind of lost a week. And I don't know how I lost a week. I thought I'd got another, another week before Christmas. Um, so I'll marzipan it. Christmas is it's Christmas Day, isn't it, next Friday? So I'll marzipan it and then probably ice it, probably ice it Wednesday, yeah, ice it Wednesday. So watch this space, <laughs> I'll see if I get up to that. I think I might have a glass of sherry. <laughs> Speak to you later.
Good morning. Good morning. It's about half eight. About half eight here. Um, yeah, we've got another um, gloomy and uh, windy day in the northwest of England. So, um, yeah, let's come and share my cup of tea with you. Cheers. So how are you? How are you all? Are you on track? <laughs> are you like me, a bit stressed? <laughs> so if you've got this far on my video, thank you very much for watching. In the last two days, um, you can tell I'm a little bit stressed. So I'm not going to go into it because you've already already seen it. But um, yeah, so this time next week, I will be um, yeah sitting in the other room, feet up. My Christmas pyjamas on and Mr Jack should be serving me um, smoked salmon and a scrambled egg with a glass of buckfizz on the side. I hope. I dream. <laughs> or maybe I'll be doing it. I don't know. I don't know. It'll be over. It'll be over. <laughs> do you do this every year? You're like, oh, I'm going to be more prepared. I'm going to be more prepared. And then you think, oh, I'll just make one more project. I'll just, um, I'll just cast something else on. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I've been busy. I will be busy today um, finishing off a secret squirrel um, project. And oh boy, will I be relieved when that's done. Um, yes, and well, my life is in my face. <laughs> I was up at 1.47 uh, this morning, I haven't been back to bed. So, um, yes, working on, the, working on this project, which is taking forever. But there we are, not going to stress about it anymore. So, what shall I do now? I thought I would uh, come and spend some time with you. Um, come and share some time. So, should we open the Advents? That's something nice to do, isn't it? That's always cheery to look at to look at yarn and be with somebody that just gets you <laughs> get so excited. So today is Friday, December the eighteenth, and this is Siobhan Crafts. Hey, I'm on track today, aren't I? Perhaps I shouldn't sleep so much. Oh. oh lovely this is um jasper and this is red it's um an orangey red i would say yeah that's blown it out a little bit but that's pretty good so that's nice um and then we've got ellie's i'm a little behind with ellie's vlogmas so <laughs> and i think i'm up to is it day 12 or day 14 so every time she has red then i'm like <laughs> so. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's really nice. I really, really like that. Oh, I'm really pleased um, that I bought Ellie's um, Advent. I like a yarn. And I, think I've got, I think I might have a mini skein pack, and I think I've got one full skein, a sock skein. I haven't actually worked with it, but it just looks beautiful. I've heard so many good things. So yeah, I think I would actually um, order a skein of that. So that's really, that's really nice. And then we have Telling Yarns for Harry Potter. And I evidently don't know very much about Harry Potter. I thought I knew a little bit. I'm not an avid Harry Potter fan. Um, so I was sort of tired. I said to my I'll tell you what I know. And she just said it's the first book one. <laughs> so there we are. So this is oh, put my glasses on and then I can, I can read it. Um yes, this this is a 12-day advent, if I hadn't said. Um on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a few batons, whatever that is, in Harry Potter. So hopefully, hopefully that focus. What are you doing, Bailey? Is it the rustling? You think there's a biscuit, do you? Yeah. One good thing, one good thing, me and Mr. Jacks, we haven't started on any, any of our Christmas goodies, which has been really good. Um, I am being really good. So, Friday is chocolate night in our house, so I have a bag of rebels, so I'm looking forward to that tonight. How <laughs> funny what you think of first thing in the morning. Oh, look at this. Oh, and I've got a Harry Potter hat.
that's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's so soft the yarn so soft I'm gonna look cool aren't I in that uh, on my hand it's um oh yes so I need to get a little bit more organized I think with um some of the stuff and I have some progress on my socks not a lot <coughs> but progress so that is obviously the heel I was doing some I was doing some editing um, of yesterday's vlog that's the heel and that's the flap and I do know that I put my glasses so I have um, decreased for the gusset now so that's that's finished so I'll just be yes that's a cuff that's the heel that's the gusset it's a bit awkward to um, hold it properly you know you can see look at that that's I am so in love with this yarn so in love with this yarn so I'm looking forward to um, yeah sitting and putting a few rows on there and this this will be my perfect sock <laughs> so yeah so I'm ha happy with that so I might put a few rows on there um, tonight I think yeah I'll sit and uh, do some knitting I'll be able to show you my pro my progress um, so what's our plans today I want to do some wrapping um, to get that sorted I'll do a little bit of uh, sorting out of projects and yes I want to come back on and see you later and um, I've got a couple of blankets to show you I think I showed you my Battenberg yesterday um, and then I've got a couple of blankets. Just thought maybe it might be inspiration for your minis if you have an advent. Um, yeah, so I'm just just starting to use them and just starting to learn how how to work them. Um, so yeah, I'm getting quite excited about all my projects that I've got. <laughs> I've already got lined up. Um, in oh, I'm back again. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to um, discuss a couple of blankets, um, like show you a couple of blankets and just might give you an idea for your advents. Um, right, let me see if I can try and turn you around. Okay, so bear with me a minute. Right, this is my little blanket, my little lap blanket that I made um, beginning of this year. My daughter and I did an advent swap and we sort of put um, 10 gram minis in and they are all Stylecraft special and that's DK, so it's a sports. And I think I'd seen a blanket online. I've got, I think I've got it in my head that it's Susan B. Anderson and it's, I think, the Habitation Throw. Um, I've had a look online, I can't find it, um, but I just used the colours that I had, so all the, all the colours, yeah, all the colours that I had in, in uh, my box, and then I had two balls of cream left over from the blanket I showed you yesterday, the Battenberg, so I just literally did a corner to corner blanket, um, and then finished it off in the cream, and then used made a magic knot ball of all the odds and ends and um, sort of just did a de decoration round. It's not huge and it literally is sort of just um, like a little lap blanket which will um, which will be good for, you know, for um, sort of the boys or literally just to go over your lap you know, when you don't need a big, big blanket on you. So that's one idea.
We'll knock off um, Spice Girls t-shirt on today. Pretty patterns um, to tell you about. I, yeah, I'm going to buy commercial yarn. I tried, my nearest um, store, like, sorry, shop is um, about 20 miles away and it's Black Sheep Walls and it's in the outskirts of Warrington and it's absolutely fabulous. Um, and I will go, will go there one day and I'll film and just let you oh, just soak all that, <laughs> all the yarn up. You go in, it's just a riot of colour. The, the girls there are absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, they're on, they've got a face group, but uh, we call them a face group group. I think that's right. <laughs> and um, they do sort of make alongs. Um, I think this is the third year, it's called, they call it Betwixt. Betwixtmas, so it's between Christmas and New Year, so it's a project you should be able to make. So if you go onto their website, you will find this, and this has been designed by Lynn Rowe. So that's the pattern. And it takes a hundred, it's two colours, so it's two. 100 gram balls of different colours or if you wanted to do it all in one colour you could um, some pictures I'll show you yeah, that's, about, that's a better one so, yeah. so that looks like a really nice a really nice um, shawl to make and it's DK, a DK yarn, so also a good um, stash buster. So that's free, so you can go on to Black Sheet Walls. Um, and if you go on to, yeah, I think they've got a bit of, I think you go on to, um, I think Betwixt and Shawlin, it will, it will, it will come up, um, the, the make along. I'll put it across the, across here, across the screen, so you can find it. And there's also, they have got, um, Loads of free patterns. If you go into if you go into Ravelry, go into Ravelry, um, they'll have them on there as well. And they have this one, the Carly Beanie, um, which is a really lovely pattern. And this is chunky, and it uses one ball of chunky. And my daughter showed me the other day. Um, she's made one. Her. She made one for me, um, and it's really lovely. And um, put the pom pom on. So I think I donated the pom pom, and she's gonna donate the hat. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of recommendations there for you. So I think what am I going to do now? Um, <laughs> oh, days right, days run away with me today. So I think I'm going to sit quietly, have a, um, another cup of tea <laughs> until I've been up for a while. Have another cup of tea, and then I'm going to um, probably call it a night. Um, I'd like to get this uploaded, and then um, you know start. On the next three days so it's going to be Saturday Sunday Monday I'll upload and then it's Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Christmas Eve so yes so I hope all your Christmas plans are going well and um, yeah, you're looking forward to Christmas it's getting nearer and nearer I don't know if I've already said this but I've lost a week um, I think it was into last week I thought I got two more weeks and then realized um, I had a oh excuse me <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, definitely got a little cold. Um, so yes, yeah, so I hope you have a really lovely Friday evening. Um, what we're we doing? We are yeah, having a, a curry tonight. I think my husband's cooking fish curry, so that'd be nice. Um, and then you know, I'll get on with my socks tonight. Um, so I'll be able to show you the progress tomorrow. So keep well, keep safe. Remember. Wear your mask, wash your hands, two metres apart, <laughs> and I will uh, speak to you soon.